Okay, this is a quick video to show you if the router ERX has been set with the command line interface to make sure that it has been boosted with the hardware NAT of load. Okay, what I'm going to do is this straight line, as you can see here, is my WANG. And if I have a sticker here with the W on it on ETH 0, means that I've already pre configured. And any other ports ETH 1 to 4, okay, will be DHCP. Okay. The default will be 192.168.1.1 Okay, to access the user interface is UBNT, UBNT, small cap Alright, this video is on YouTube so you can constantly look at it Right, if you see any box with the orange sticker means that it has already been pre-programmed Okay, if you see any router that doesn't have the sticker Okay, that means it has not been pre-programmed Alright, so this is a pre- this is a router that is before it's been pre-programmed this is a router that has been programmed all right so what i'm going to do is this white line is my LAN cable to my notebook i'm going to show you by going into the edge router interface okay and if you want to check all right if the cli has been done all you have to do is just go to the cli button on the upper right hand corner click on it okay All right, and once it comes up, okay, all you have to do is just type the username password, okay, and it will show up. Hang on, let me refresh, okay. Once you log into the CLI, it's going to ask you for the login, it's going to be UBNT enter, UBNT enter, okay. The command to check if the offload has been done, all you have to do is just type show space UBNT. Show UBNT offload. Okay, the command is show space UBNT space offload. O F F L O A D. Alright, so if it's been loaded, alright, it will show you as hardware NAT offload module loaded. Alright, that's all you need. And once that's done, all you do is just press type exit and you will get out of the CLI. Alright, once you're done, um, all you have to do is just close or just exit. Alright, and next, what you're going to do is do a speed test. Now, in this speed test, what I'm going to do is I already, my ISP is on my Republic, I already selected my Republic as my server to test. Just click go. Alright, and let's see how far I go. Okay. It's running is usually definitely above 700 megabits per second all right for download in this case we're hitting about 820 okay, 815 817 okay we hit 820 download and now let's check the upload now for upload today we are getting close to 800 Alright, for download, we got 820. For upload, we got 888. Alright, so in any case, um, do not re remember, do not reset the router. If you do reset the router, do remember, set it in router mode first before you do the CLI command. Okay, set it in router mode first before you do the CLI command. Alright, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me. Alright, thanks.